With recent advances in AI, many fear that large-scale job loss is imminent, and that our lives as humans with purpose will become obsolete. And maybe that's true, but if not, here's why. In the early 2000s, people feared that the internet would cause massive unemployment due to outsourcing, only for it to create a whole new market of jobs while leaving other industries untouched. The same thing happened in the 2010s with automation in manufacturing. Jobs were certainly displaced in certain fields, but those could also be credited to globalist foreign trade policies. But both these frights just led to 2019, where the global economy was at its height with the most jobs and highest wages ever recorded. With these two events in the history of technological progress, it's easy to compare them to other advancements such as the personal computer and renewable energy. Both created new jobs. However, another interesting argument for why AI and technological advancement in general does not change employment as drastically as people might speculate is regulatory capture. Regulatory capture is when the agencies in charge of oversight of any particular industry for the purpose of public interest start acting in the best interest of the sector it's supposed to regulate. An example of this is the idea of the revolving door between the industry and government, a practice where government officials will go into the private sector after their job as public service officials are over. A great website that can visualize this concept is opensecrets.org. But how does regulatory capture relate specifically to why employment won't be massively disrupted by AI? This chart shows price changes in consumer goods over the past 20 years. All the red lines are goods that became more expensive relative to overall inflation, and the blue lines are goods that became more affordable. A very obvious conclusion that does not take much insight is that all the red lines are in markets subjected to regulatory capture, whereas the blue lines are goods that have had prices competed down by the free market. If you work in one of the red line industries, things are looking good for you. Prices will continue to increase and competition is near to impossible with the amount of government regulation and the bottlenecks created by the self-serving government agencies. Now, if you were to extrapolate what is to happen from this, as prices of red goods continue to increase with the absence of technological advancement, it will grow as a percentage of GDP. The blue side of the market will continue to shrink until it is a small part of GDP, causing regulators to make AI practically illegal in most industries. So even if AI were able to do almost every task done that is needed for consumers, that's not how the market is set up, and therefore the capacity of change is capped by regulators. Thus leading to the question, what's the end goal of technology? Endless economic abundance? Maybe.